Hello and welcome to our May 2024 Night Angels video hop. I'm Barb with Just Be Stamping, an independent stamping app demonstrator in Cambridge, Ontario, Canada, and I'm glad you're here. Our theme this month was the new annual catalog and I chose the amazing Wildly Flowering Suite for my project. Let's get started. This fun fold card showcases the beautiful paper in the suite, which is perfect for when you love both sides of the paper. All of the dimensions for the project are in the description box below, as well as the details of the products I used to create my card. These pretty layered labels are the new Wildflower Design dies, and I also used the coordinating stamp set for the floral image and the new Unbounded Love stamp set for my sentiments. For this project, I started by creating my focal point as I knew it would need some time to dry for the technique that I wanted to use. I started by die cutting the label shapes from Early Espresso, Basic White, Moody Mauve, and Basic Beige cardstock. This gave me lots of pieces to mix and match with throughout the project. Starting with the Moody Mauve center label, I heat emboss my sentiment in white embossing powder. A trick I learned recently is to stamp the image into white pigment ink rather than Versamark ink, which gives you a more vibrant white on the finished product. Once the powder was melted, I brushed Moody Mauve ink onto the edges of my die cut for some shading. If you don't have the matching ink, you can use any darker pink color or even a brown for the same effect. I wiped away any excess ink from my lettering with a paper towel and then stamped my floral image in the same Moody Mauve ink in the bottom left corner. This is going to provide a shadow for my die cut image later on. Finally, I splattered white paint that has been watered down onto my label, protecting my surface with an old box as this technique sprays everywhere. This is the part that requires the drying time. So I set the label aside and started on the rest of the card. First up was the scallop frame, which I added some ink shading to with my blending brush and basic beige ink. I repeated that with the label shape in the same color, blending around all the sides. Next, I created my card base from a strip of the beautiful Wildly Flowering DSP that is 5.5 inches by 12 inches, scored at 1.75, 4.5, and 7.5 inches. This paper is so pretty with lots of gorgeous designs to choose from. I folded on the score lines with my bone folder in a valley mountain valley pattern and then glued the paper between fold one and three together, creating a book. This set of labels and frames is for the last panel on the inside of my card, essentially page three, where you would write a personal message to the recipient. I stamped the floral image in Moody Mauve in the corner and then glued it into the card base in the center of the final page. Then I added the scalloped frame around it using the white label to help maintain the shape of the more delicate scalloped piece. For page two, I stamped the sentiment in early espresso ink onto my basic beige label, as well as another floral image, this time placing it on the right hand side. I glued this label onto my card base, paying attention not to add glue to the far right of the label, as it will hang off of the edge of the paper, and using the previously adhered label as a guide for the right edge. I then added the white scalloped frame around the label as I did previously, again making sure not to put any glue on the far right side. Finally, to decorate the front of my card base, I layered my prepared Moody Mauve label onto the larger white label with dimensionals, and then glued that to the large Early Espresso label. 
I cut small dimensional pieces and added them to the back of my scalloped frame so that the frame pops up around the label with the white piece flat, which adds incredible depth in real life. I added this prepared focal point to my card base with glue just on the left half of the large label so that I don't glue my card shut. After setting it onto the card base, I then quickly opened the base to page two and used that to help guide the placement so that it was centered around the inside piece. And last but not least, I stamped another of the floral images onto white cardstock in early espresso ink and die cut it with the coordinating die, adding it to my card front. I also added a twine bow with a glue dot for a final touch. And that is my completed project. So much fun to make with this amazing suite of products. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. Do be sure to check out the rest of the Night Angels projects that they have for you this month by clicking the links below. Happy crafting.